Crazy Zamilia, welcome back to the episode of Fragrance Fiends, man, Frank C. Uh, I just want to do a real quick, uh, quick take on, on a fragrance. Um, as you can see in the title, I called it Alberto Moreas' worst, uh, worst cologne. Um, and, and in my opinion, it is, um, you know, this is, this, this cologne came out in 1978, so, um, no knock against, uh, Alberto Morias. I mean, he's a, uh, master perf per perfumier. I mean, the, the hits just, I mean, you can't even, um, you know, you can't throw rocks at the throne as far as all the, the sense that he's created and has been behind. So just a legend in the perfume game, uh, cologne game. But, um, uh, this, this scent is called, um, Homme de Café. Comes a box like this, really cheap box. I, um, I ordered this maybe like two years ago. I ordered this just because I, uh, I did a little research on it. And, and it was by Alberto Morias. And it was an early, um, release from him. And, you know, I, um, I like to get to the history, um, of fragrances. So this one came out in 1978. Um, it is, um, this the best of box, this the bottle. Uh, it's a really cheap bottle. I mean, it came, the, the plastic cap, uh, the sprayer. I mean, you see the neck of that bottle is really cheap. Uh, I sprayed a little bit of my hand a little while ago, and it is, it's not a great scent. Um, it, it reminds me a lot, you know, I, I have, I sprayed it on once, like, uh, two years ago when I first bought it, and I have, really haven't revisited it since, but... I was just thinking about it just lately. I was like, yeah, make sure make a make a quick quick video on that. Um, I think I got this for like seven ninety nine or something. Uh, it's just a really cheap, really bad scent. Like I said, nineteen seventy eight. Uh, it's called Homme de Café, but it's, there's no ca ca it's no coffee in the notes. I don't smell any coffee. I mean, all I smell is like I, I don't even know. It, it's, it's just a, it's just a kind of like a synthetic mess. Uh, if you know anything about Dunhill Dunhill. Um, Dunhill uh, Custom. It comes in like a yellow. Well, I think the juice is yellow itself, but it comes like a frosted glass, frosted glass bottle. That's a terrible scent, in my opinion. And it's just, um, like I said, I don't know if it's a sign of the times or what. It's supposed to have raspberry in this and some and musk and all that. It is definitely musky, but it's just, it's just horrible, in my opinion. It's not a great scent. So. Um, you know, Senor, uh, Senor Morias, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, uh, lo siento, but I mean, this, this is really bad. Um, and if you come across it, um, you know, um, I wouldn't suggest picking up, picking it up. Uh, it's from, I don't even know what the house is, it's, uh, I, Confin Lux, Confin Lux, I've heard of them, but it's, it's a very, just a very cheap, uh, very dated scent. Uh, on the Cafe from uh, Massa Perfumer Alberto Morias. Like I said, 1978 release. No knock on him, but uh, this, is, this is his worst work. So, Fergus is familiar. Until next time, take care.